Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all como estas? Yankees fans, let's talk about this horrendous team, a team that is not showing heart, a team and basically an organization that shows no accountability when losing. You see, to use a Marvel analogy, if you have seen the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you see, the real Yankees, they're Steve Rogers, the real Captain America. These Yankees that we're seeing now, they're the character John Walker, a.k.a. U.S. Agent. You see, they have the uniform of the Yankees. They're called the Yankees, but they're not the Yankees. What I'm trying to say here is this team is the dollar store equivalent of, let's say... Pick any store on Madison Avenue. They're the cheap hobo versions of what you consider the New York Yankees. A lot of people like to bring up the boss, George Steinbrenner, when the Yankees are doing bad, and rightfully so. You see, I'm going to use another analogy. You see Arnold Schwarzenegger, his kids, with the exception of his half-Hispanic son, who was blessed with uh, Arnold's genetic genes. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but if you've seen Arnold's other kids, you would think, wow, what happened there? They look nothing like Arnold. Well, maybe they resemble him, but his genetic gifts weren't passed along to those particular kids. So you could say the boss's genes weren't passed along to how because the boss would have fired everybody and their mother years ago you see it's no secret why the yankees are losing there's no accountability there's no secret that you have players like hicks sitting out games because he's not built how baseball players were built back in the day you see, when something tragic happens, you pay tribute to the person or persons by taking the field and having the best game you ever had in your life. But yeah, the Yankees and Aaron Boone, they say, yeah, um, take the night off. Yeah, uh, fix your head. What a joke. These sports players getting paid millions, millions to basically take the night off because they weren't injured, nothing happened to them, they psychologically don't feel like playing that day. So this happens when you have soft, soft leadership and you have a group of guys not performing, thinking they could do anything they want because they know when Aaron Boone yells at them, it's fake. <laughs> they, they don't take him seriously. Here's an even better one when it comes to coaches. They know they could suck. They know they could suck at their job because the Yankees front office, they don't have the balls to man up and say, wow, maybe we made a mistake hiring, I don't know, this manager, this pitching coach, this hitting coach. They don't have the balls to fire anyone. And these coaches know that if they screw up, they screwed up. They're not losing their jobs. And the same could be said about the analytical nerds. Who knows who's in that office making decisions? They're not losing their jobs either. You see, this is funny. If you run a business, corporation, company, if a worker is not performing, they're getting fired. If you suck at your job, chances are you're going to lose that job. Hey, you're a lucky bastard if you work for the New York Yankees because if you suck at your job, you're keeping your job. Here's the reality. The Red Sox are first place. The Rays own the Yankees. The Blue Jays even beat up the Yankees like a piñata. You're a last place team. Losing series. 
losing series. You're the New York Yankees. Act like the New York Yankees. Stop experimenting, going out there, obtaining pictures that haven't pitched in years, thinking that you hit the jackpot because you want to be cheap. Yeah, that rebuild isn't working that much, is it, Cashman? No World Series championships since you decided in 2016 to be a seller, like a quitter. And how about now? You don't want to get rid of prospects either to make a big splash because supposedly other teams are asking for an arm and a leg. So what's it going to cost? Oh yeah, spend the money via free agency. Something that this organization doesn't want to do either. Wow. So to close this off, yeah, still early in the season, but I don't like the signs when it comes to this starting rotation. It absolutely sucks. I don't like the pitching coach either. The hitting coach, I never liked them as well. This home run philosophy, home run or die, doesn't work. If you have been paying attention, other teams I don't are just better than the Yankees. They do things to win World Series championships. They do things to reach the World Series. They do things to win playoff games. But this team doesn't learn their lesson. And we're seeing it this season because the players think the coaches are an absolute joke and they don't take them seriously. Again, to use the boss. None of you guys would be having a job if George Steinbrenner was still around. And George spent money in his day. But that stupid uh, trade for John Carlos Stanton, paying him all that money to be a DH, yeah, cash God that. What a stupid trade when you look at it. It has disabled the Yankees when it comes to financial flexibility because these are the poverty Yankees and they don't have a backbone. They are soft. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you think about this fabulous team? So like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you on next time. Before it hits the front page.